In this tutorial, I'm going to talk you through what an RSS reader is and then how you'd go about installing one. Now, RSS stands for really simple syndication. And all an RSS reader does is it allows you to view the updates of a website without having to keep going onto the website. Now, this can be quite useful for things like news and uh, finance websites in which information is having to be updated quite regularly. And having to keep going onto the website can be quite time consuming. Now, there's two options. Uh, that you have to install an RSS reader. Your first is through the built-in capabilities of your web browser, which all the major web browsers will have. Or your second is to install a, a standalone reader such as RSS Owl. I'm going to talk you through now how you'd install each of them and how they work. To integrate an RSS feed onto your web browser, the first thing you need to do is go to the web page from which you want your RSS feeds to come from. Now I've come to the BBC News Technology website and you can see here at the top you have the RSS icon. You simply click on the icon and then you can subscribe to this feed. Give it an appropriate name and I want to add this to my favourites bar and you select subscribe. Once you've done that you'll see here on the top left hand corner the BBC Technology RSS feeds um, menu has uh, arrived along with all the articles for this particular feed. Your second option is to have a standalone RSS reader. Now standalone RSS readers, they tend to have more functionality and more features than the ones you have integrated into your web browser. Um, but you can find them free, downloadable off the internet. And the example of the one I'm using is called RSS Owl. And with RSS Owl, you can label articles, you can share them on Facebook or, tw or Twitter as well. So you can see already there's more functionality available with these standalone readers. Now, similar to integrating them into your web browser, the first thing you need to do is go to the web page I click on the RSS link, copy the URL and you're simply just going to add this feed give it an appropriate name and finish and there you have it you have the feeds appearing here on the left now to ensure that the articles appear you just need to update the links and you will see that the articles will then appear on the right There you are.